Welcome everybody to the latest edition of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and for this episode, we're looking at Wisconsin tight end Troy Fumagalli. And uh, as we continue to go through these, a lot of these senior prospects, I'm looking at guys that are kind of really stand out uh, that are going to be big time players at the next level. And Fumagalli is probably the best receiving weapon that Wisconsin has. You know, they're a ground based team. Uh, riding heavily on a, a freshman running back. Uh, when they look to pass the ball, it's their tight end that, that's probably their best target. And I think he's a guy that's definitely uh, going to be a, uh, an impact player, or at least a player that's going to carve out a nice role um, in the NFL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a few things that really stand out to me in his game. So the first things first, um, we're going to look at his blocking. Um, tight ends in the NFL – um, sure, you have your Jimmy Graham types that are going to just be mainly receivers, but NFL teams really want these receivers, these tight ends, to, to be able to block too. And and Fumigali, you know, being six foot six, two hundred forty seven pounds, he's not a a, a big tight end, a, a massive blocker, um, but he holds up pretty well. So let's take a look at that right here. We see Fumigali on the left side of the offensive line, um, in line. He's not in a three point stance, but he's right up there, neck close to the tackle. He's going to take on this outside linebacker. Uh, and he's not only is he going to, you know, Fumagalli is not a uh, mauler. You know, you don't really see tight ends be too much maulers anyways. Um, but he does a good job of using his hands uh, to take on the blockers and then use that leverage to um, kind of seal off and hold off. But he's got a little bit of sneaky power. So as we see in this clip, um, he's going to go ahead, he's going to engage right there. You see him engage. He's got the hands um, inside, um, moving his body around to seal off so that the run can come um, kind of behind him. But then he kind of, you look, he kind of sinks those hips a little bit, and he's able to get a little power and and move that, that outside linebacker back a little bit. So not only is he able to be an Occupy blocker, a guy that can, you know, take up a defender, but he's got some, there's a little bit of power to him. All right, uh, the next clip I'm going to look at is, is him as a receiver. And on this route, um, it's going to be an incompletion to him. Um, and it's a simple kind of out route from the inline position, but I really want you to look at how he is, his quickness at the stem. So when he makes that cut, the quickness that he has. So it's going to be coming up really fast. He's right here. He's going to be matched up with this linebacker. He gets to that stem, and look at, he breaks down, and that quick move to the outside. You see right here, he's already created some separation. The ball's coming, but it's just low, and it's kind of a tough pass for him to make. If we can look at that a little bit slower, let me slow it down a little bit. Hey, here he comes. That sink the hit quick move outside. Just kind of a kind of a bad throw there by uh, Hornybrook. Um, last one, as I speed it back up to normal speed, is another example of that quickness out of his brakes at the stem. And it's going to be another out route. This time the defender's kind of playing back. A lot of times you see tight ends and receivers, they'll just round this off. Uh, but as we see right here, Here's Fumagalli right over here at the top of the screen. He's going to go about five yards and a quick, kind of precise cut. You know, if he rounds that, that play off, let me slow it down just a tidge. If he rounds this, if he rounds this cut off, it does give them a little bit of time. But he stops and makes a quick, precise kind of cut. I mean, it's not like a right angle. Um, but it, it, that allows him to kind of get that extra little bit. The ball's a little behind, able to make that catch and get a nice catch. So is Troy Fumagalli going to be the next Travis Kelsey? Is he going to be the next Rob Gronkowski? No. But he's definitely got a skill set that teams are going to like. Um, he's probably going to be a uh, you know probably a third-round pick. I kind of had them pegged as that um, eventual starter, uh, definitely a solid contributor to the team. 
So um, based kind of off of guys who have gone before, definitely see him kind of in that third to fourth round range. Um, but he's he's going to be a guy that can kind of be moved around as a lead blocker. Um, you could kind of put him in as a blocker on the inline. You can you know move him around as a receiver. You know Wisconsin puts him in motion quite a bit too. So definitely someone to keep an eye on. Uh, your team needs a tight end. They're looking in the mid rounds. Uh, Fumagalli is definitely a guy that you uh, should keep an eye on. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, remember, I try to come out with these on a regular basis. So the best way to get them is to subscribe to me, whether it be on YouTube or uh, on Twitter. I'm at draft underscore Brian uh, at NFL Draft Geek. Uh, I post these up on NFLDraftGeek.com. So definitely a lot of places to get them. Make sure you're watching them. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and until next time.